Hey y'all, uh, barbecue <clears throat> here. Listen, I recently made a video about how I thought as a seller I was being treated unfairly by eBay. And that I actually think they're borderline to discriminate against me. Okay. Well, I've run into a new issue that I kind of wanted to share with everybody and see what your guys' take is on this and see what you guys think. Because I think they're actually doing something... That in my eyes is borderline mail fraud. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I wanted to bring this up to you. So if you look closely on my screen, you see this order that I made here on November 18th this year. And you see I ordered these Pokemon cards. Okay. Now if you look at this tracking number, this is a very unusual tracking number to me. I've never seen anything like this. ESU, whatever it is. Right. And... I see that number and I go, okay, well, let's go look at, let's go see the details of this order, okay? Now, it says it was paid for on the 18th, shipped on the 19th, and delivered on the 22nd, okay? So what we do then is we go to track the, track the package. You can see it was delivered on the 22nd, right over there, okay? Now, take a look at this. It was in California on the 19th. Ended up in Egan, Minnesota on the 21st, and then delivered on the 22nd in my zip code. Now, what this doesn't show you is that this package actually was shown as delivered to me at 6.55 a.m., which it wasn't that day. It was not delivered to me. I got up at about 8 o'clock, went and checked the mailbox, nothing there. So I called eBay, and I asked them if they could help me out. And they said, well, we'll look into it. And within a few hours of that happening, there was suddenly a new tracking number created that started with the number 9 and had 16 digits, just like normal tracking numbers do within the United States. And a few hours after that, it was suddenly at my door. And I thought to myself, okay, fair enough. What this probably means is we don't actually have a, a distribution center here in my city. They just have a post office where they take in mail and send it to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area which Egan would be included in, and sort it there and then ship it out to wherever it's going. Okay, fine. So I figured that's probably what happened. Somehow they had to create another tracking number for it to be delivered to me. But that was unusual. I've never seen that happen with any of my packages. Now, one thing I want you guys to understand, too, is when I order things like this, I always make sure they're, they're within the United States because I don't want to wait for things to come overseas weeks at a time because I usually need them a lot sooner than that. All right? So there you can see everything is where it should be on this order, and that's kind of weird how that happened, but it happened that way. All right, now let's go to another item, okay? And this is where I'm starting to have the problems. I also ordered this item on the 18th of November and paid for it and everything like that. And so I looked at the order details on this one because it said it was delivered on the 23rd, but it's now the 26th as I'm recording this. And as you can see, it says it was delivered on the 23rd. And lo and behold, here again, it was in out, out for delivery in Egan, Minnesota, and delivered on the 23rd. Now, this time I never got notification of a second tracking number being created and another thing being done. And it didn't show up the same day like the one did the day before. And I found that to be a bit unusual. <clears throat> so I contacted eBay and I asked them why. And they said, well, it shows your item was delivered. I said, do you see where it was delivered to? It said it was out for delivery in Egan, Minnesota. Not only is that the wrong town, it's in the wrong state. So I questioned and questioned, and we danced around and danced around, and they really gave me no answers. But then when I said, well, you know, maybe I'll just go to the post office and figure this out on my own because you guys aren't helping. So I entered this tracking number right here and put it into the USPS thing to get an email back about this item. <clears throat> That's an invalid tracking number, according to the post office. That doesn't exist to them. And the only reason that I can figure that out is it's eBay Delivery Services. Now, what this is, this is a service that eBay provides for people to use for small items, trading cards, stamps, posted, postcards, coins, up to $20 in value so they can get some cheap shipping on it, which I understand that as well. And we're all looking to save a dollar on shipping because... <laughs> You know how expensive that can get, right, gang? Well, 
here's the problem. When I called eBay and I questioned them about that, gave them the tracking number and did all these things, they told me that this item had an overseas tracking number on it. That's what these this means here, apparently, is this is some kind of overseas tracking number. And I thought about that for a minute, too, and I said, well, now, wait a minute here. Um, let me see if I can find where this is. Here we go. Let's try this button right there. This started off in Pennsylvania. It's not international. Pennsylvania is in the United States last time I looked. So if they're using an international shipping number that the post office doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't acknowledge, yet they're sending it out of Pennsylvania, okay, something wrong there. And also something wrong that this thing is considered to be delivered right there, Tuesday, November 23rd, in Egan, Minnesota, because it says out for delivery in Egan, Minnesota, clearly there's bell right there. But then all of a sudden it says delivered to my zip code. And I don't understand how that works. And maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm ignorant to it, and maybe eBay is ignorant to it as well. But this is showing very clearly that there's something going wrong. Now, I don't know how this, this little eBay shipping service works. They didn't care to, you know, acknowledge that to me. They didn't care to help me with that part. They said they did do an investigation, and then if they can't figure it out, I've contacted the seller. The seller has not replied to me. eBay is being no help. And they said, well, you'll just get a refund if it doesn't come to you. Well, I'm not buying things on eBay to get a refund. Okay. And... Full disclosure, I know the world isn't perfect. I know things can get lost or sent to the wrong places or whatever. But when I can't even use that tracking number to go to the post office to ask them a question because they say it's an invalid tracking number, and when the guy on the phone from eBay tells me that that's an international tracking number, yet it originated in Pennsylvania, there's a problem in my eyes. There's a big problem, and I don't understand what it is. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a back history on this. Is When I've had issues with selling an item to somebody and it arrives at the person broken or something damaged or whatever by the post office, by the shipping, <clears throat> and I've contacted eBay and said, yeah, okay, so I sent it, it wasn't broken, and now it's broken. Here's the pictures. eBay has always told me that it was my responsibility as a seller to contact the post office and file a claim. Okay, fine. eBay is now telling me as the buyer that it's my responsibility to call this third-party company that does this shipping, whatever it is, that I need to call them and talk to them, and I need to contact the seller and let them know that this is what's going on, which I've already done. And I need to do all this work behind the scenes to track this down. So the way eBay does it over the last 20 years for me is if I'm the seller and something goes wrong in shipping, it's my responsibility to straighten it out. Now that I'm the buyer, it's still my responsibility when something goes wrong, straighten it out. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's wrong. And to be completely honest with you, when they're telling me on eBay's site that this package originated in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, yet it, it requires an international shipping number that the post office doesn't recognize, to me... That's fraud. You're telling your customers one thing. You're doing something completely different. And I have transcripts sent to me and everything like that to see exactly what this guy told me, and this is exactly what he told me, that this is an international number. That's why the post office doesn't recognize it. The worst part about it is I kind of needed those cards for this weekend. And obviously, they're not going to get here on time. So be it. You know, opportunity lost by me, taking a chance on somebody on eBay. Way it goes. Anyway, guys, this is what I have to present. Leave your comments below what you guys think is going on. Let me know what your opinion is. If you've dealt with something like this before, please leave it in the comments. Send us a message and let us know. Because maybe I'm just seeing things completely wrong. And you come to me and say, no, 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 here's what's going on, Barbecue. This is what's really going on. Because these income poops at eBay obviously have no idea what's going on in their own company. And frankly, the way this guy talked to me, he didn't care. That's the way it goes. So, anyway, thanks for letting me rant. Appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. 
share it out, see if we can get some answers to what's going on. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, you know the whole routine. Hit the bell notification so you know when the barbecue man comes on and has another problem with eBay, <laughs> which is going to be short-lived because after 20 years, I'm leaving eBay. I guarantee you that. Take care, everybody.